Hello, how are you? Hi, Isha, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Not bad. Great. Fine. So we are starting the meeting because we are late on the time zone. One minute. Mm -hmm. I would request Toastmaster Hardik to rename yourself, please. Okay. And Toastmaster Zainab as well. I'm starting. Three, two, one. Very good afternoon and very good morning from US and good evening from Malaysia. Welcome to the Heritage City Toastmaster meeting number 216. I am Sadhre Dam Vikran Soni. I invite all of you in the Heritage City Toastmasters meeting. Outside temperature is 44. Distance doesn't matter. Someone in US, someone in Malaysia, wherever you are in the world, but one goal, one mission to become effective public speaker and leader. And this is the mission of our Toastmaster. What is the mission? Mission is to provide positive and supporting learning experience to the members by which they can develop their communication and leadership skill, resulting in better self-development and personal growth. But by doing so, we have to follow some rules and we are in online meeting. Number one, please keep your best friend mobile in silent mode. I am giving you 10 seconds. Number two, we will not talk about sex, religion, and politics in our speech. And number three, most important for our online meeting is please keep your microphone muted unless otherwise ask call upon. Now, without further ado, it's time to invite presiding officer. Who is the presiding officer? Our presiding officer is someone who has three master degrees in commerce, philosophy, and in fashion technology. He pursued fashion designing and then now he entrepreneur in this field. He is stage artist, public speaker, gold medalist in, in university public speaking competition. And she is president of Heritage City Toastmaster Club. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Isa, presiding officer of today's meeting. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vikram, for introducing me once again to the club. Now, I would like to start the 216th meeting, first of all, while filling up the energy. Where is the energy in HCTC? I want to see all that smiling faces. Why are the cameras off? Keep the cameras on, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. So let us first remind ourselves of why did we join the Toastmasters? We all people have different backgrounds, different age gaps, different, we do different things for the living, right? But why did we join Toastmaster? For one common reason, to become a better communicator and a leader someday. But don't you think while we joined Toastmasters in the beginning, the energy is really high. And over the time, the energy is steamed down. Don't you think that? Don't you believe it? Why does this happen? Why? Anybody? Their own reason. Yes, Toastmaster Ruchi. I think because... Uh... Generally, because we get more comfortable into the system and, you know, that kind of attitude comes in, okay, okay, it's going on. I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, true. Anybody else? Toastmaster Hirsch, why does this happen? Yeah, why actually, do we lose I, energy? Why do we lose energy? 
Yes, Why? sir, because uh, we feel not interested or we feel that uh, something is not rewarding in the process. We will not get the reward. So we feel boring and that's why when we feel boring, we lose energy. For example, if I think that from online meeting, I won't learn and grow, I will lose definitely my energy if I'm just coming for sake of coming and for completing my role. But if I take the reward at hand that uh, I will also get a chance to master this online platform, then I, my energy will be high. So reward or penalty, what you are keeping after the journey, is it reward or penalty? If you feel reward, your energy will be high. If you feel penalty, your energy will be low. Just one example. If you are, uh, if police is after you, your energy will be low. And if the destination is uh, something uh, Goa, Maldives or Singapore, your energy can never be low. When destination is home, your energy will be low at the last day. On the first True. day, it will be high. True. But what is the solution of this? Yes, people who are becoming lazy to the roads, who are becoming lazy to the parties, give me the solution. Yes, Toastmaster Pyro. Yeah, I think the solution is to be clear about your big why. Like, why do you want to do what you want to do? Once you're clear and you keep on uh, rethinking about it, only then the motivation comes back. Otherwise, it goes off. So the big why has to be very clear. And one has to remember that. True. What do you think, Toastmaster Bharat? Why do you feel and or how do you feel to remove this barrier? Depends on individual person. Uh, for me, I think that keep reminding me that what was the purpose I have joined it and what is the outcome it has come so far and how far I can go. So consistent evaluating yes. oneself can help us to be motivated or encouraged to do things. That's what I think, my perspective. True. That is one of the few things that we can do best, Toastmaster Bharat and Toastmaster Payal Tool, holding on to the why of the meeting. Or why did you join Toastmasters? But I would say that there is one key. One key when you join Toastmasters with all the energy or you come back to the Toastmaster as Toastmaster achieved it in the uh, journey of the Toastmasters, you need to first make up your mindset towards the commitment of self. You need to hold on to one single word and that is called discipline. Discipline of the role, discipline of the pathway, discipline of the self-commitment that I have done. You are taking this conscious decision for yourself. If you take up roles, if you want to become a better communicator, nobody told you to do so. You chose it for yourself. Remember that. And nothing is going to make you push, not your VP education, no club environment, no president, nobody. But first, it is going to be you. And I want to do this. I want to take my return on investment at the best of its worth. With this, I would like to start the 216th meeting of Heritage City Toastmasters Club. Before we move ahead, we'll give a brief glimpse of and give us a reminder of what is Toastmasters. So Toastmasters is an organization which was started 100 years back by a gentleman named Ralph C. Smithy. And why did he start Toastmasters? The basic reason was to bring the communicators, the leaders, and the networkers, and the people who want to learn the skills as such together in the room. Because he was finding that people were having difficulty in raising the toast in the simplest of situations, like funerals and weddings. So hence, peace be upon him, Ralph uh, Smedley brought all of us together, and today, we are more than 16,000 clubs all over the world with more than 5 lakh Toastmasters joining every single moment. With this, now I would like to welcome the guests of the meeting. So we have one guest, Toastmaster, uh, I guess, guest Nikita. Yes, Nikita, can you please unmute yourself and give a brief introduction? 
Uh, hi everyone. Uh, so um, I'm Nitika, and I've been to a previous meeting of Toastmaster, but it's been a while. And right now I'm working in my own firm. So it's a textile firm. And uh, the reason I want to join Toastmaster is, uh, I think uh, uh, in a lot of situation, I feel uh, when uh, you are more, uh, I think it gives you an edge if you are more, uh, uh, if you are a better speaker. And I think it helps in all kinds of situation, whether it is professionally or in your personal relation, everything. True, Nikita. That is definitely mm -hmm. true. And you have understood why do we need public speaking for sure. So looking forward to hear you in the physical meeting as well. And looking forward to see you really soon as a Toastmaster. Welcome, Sum. Thank you. Heritage City Toastmaster Club. We have another guest who is joining all the way from Malaysia, Toastmaster Zenam. Would you like to please unmute yourself and give a brief introduction about yourself, please? Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening, dear fellow Toastmasters and all the amazing guests over here. So I'm Toastmaster Zainab Mushtaq, uh, joining from Malaysia, and but I'm currently member of Toast uh, Maori League Zahirin's Toastmasters Sri Lanka, and I'm so proud to call about that. And this is the very first time I'm joining for your club, the Heritage Toastmaster City Toastmasters Club. I I think and uh, thank you so much Toastmaster Isha the president of the club for inviting me to this beautiful club and offering me to do the evaluator role it was a great honor for me to receive it and join it uh, join for your club as a guest and a role player thank you so much I look forward for a fruitful wonderful meeting today I hope that it's going to be amazing by just looking at the energy and the vibe of you all. <laughs> Thank you so much, Oti. Welcome, Toastmasters, and I'm looking forward to see you more in the meetings. Now, any Toastmasters meeting is being hosted by the Toastmaster of the day. So who is our wonderful Toastmaster of the day today? He is by qualification an IT engineer, by profession, he has business of industrial roofing sheets. Moreover, he has dreamed to help people live life of their dream. With this, I would like to call upon the stage, Toastmaster of the Day, Toastmaster Hirsch. Stage is yours. Thank you so much, President, Madam, for such a warm introduction. Good afternoon, good morning, all of you lovely Toastmasters and dear guests. So are you guys ready to change your life and create magic like this band. Okay, so... Yes, we are. Amazing, amazing. So today our VP Education gave us an opportunity to change the life online, right? That itself is a great uh, opportunity. And uh, uh, who were present in the last session, please raise your hand virtually in the last session. Okay. Yeah, I see a lot of, uh, lot of Toastmasters were present. Right. Fine. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, Ruchir was also present, right? I think. Yes. Okay. Fine. So just to recap, we will continue from there. But for the new audience, we would like to give some recap of that session, which we had. So we all know that all the problems, suffering or, or any, uh, any problems which we have are complaints which is unwanted in our life. Who is responsible? As a Toastmasters, we all know the answer, right? Can anyone tell me who is responsible? We are responsible for all the... Yes, amazing. We are so much trained, right? But when... Suppose I'm not performing in Toastmasters, I say I'm responsible. Will it solve it? Will it solve the problem? Right, it will not solve the problem. It's just a truth, but that truth won't be helpful unless we realize that the drive which we are getting is making us stick, stuck us at that point. Right, I give the example that if there I am a captain of cricket team, I am Rohit Sharma, and some players are not performing, and I keep them in my team, there is a high possibility that I am taking some drive from the bookie, right? Am I getting sense? So similarly, 
if some problems or complaints are there in achieving your goal, some barriers are there, high probability is that we are keeping it in our way. We can definitely avoid it, but we are getting some bribe, short-term bribes, and that's why we are keeping them in our way. Suppose I want to achieve pathway, but I have some barrier that then I'm getting some bribe. Otherwise, I will definitely complete my pathway. Right? I am responsible for not completing my pathway. That is very much clear. We are such a senior level. Ordinary people don't even know that we are responsible. They just blame their mentor that he is not responsible. But as a seasoned toast player, Toastmasters after attending, we are at that level that we are responsible. But the second step is the drive which we are getting. That's why we are not taking actions. And once we know that bribe is, what is that bribe? What we can do is we can stop taking that bribe and we can move forward by taking the actions, removing that player from the team. That is removing the barrier or the garbage or unwanted stuff. And then we can move forward. So that path will be clear. That's what we covered, right? Anyone have any questions until now? Right, everyone is clear. So we will move and forward ahead from that. Okay, right. So let's take some exam. Okay, it's a Toastmasters meeting. So let's uh, first come to the point and let me invite general evaluator. But before that, let me explain. There are three segments of the meeting. First is a prepared speeches where lot of uh, speakers have worked hard seven days, eight days. From their pathway, they will deliver the speeches from which they will share their experiences, knowledge, and that's a very great experience to learn from them as well as learn from for ourselves also. From their journey, we can take that lessons. The second segment is very much exciting table topic speaking, where uh, on the up front, on the prompt, we will speak without even any preparation like I'm speaking as of now. This is all, all the gift of table topics. If I have not participated in table topics, I would be not able to conduct this session. So I encourage every guest to participate. It is very exciting. We will train a lot of, lot of uh, we will not get to know because life is always impromptu, right? I was impromptu today that I have to take online meetings. So it's a very learning session. And third is evaluation, where we will grow and we will implement the feedbacks and we will again take actions and get better results. So to help me with the evaluation, I would like to invite general evaluator of the day. Who is general evaluator of the day? He is someone who has done MBA from the Queensland University, Melbourne, he is a founder of uniformscart.com who provides complete uniform solutions from small to medium enterprises and he loves to play chess and he is also currently serving our club as a secretary. So please help me welcome Toastmaster Bharat. Yes, the stage is all yours. Good evening, Toastmasters. And thank you, Toastmaster Harsh, for such a wonderful introduction. As Isha said, Toastmaster Isha said, about what is the purpose we all have joined Toastmasters? And we give different answers. That what was the reason we are joining it? But we, if we continue it, if we want to see the results, what is the main important point? Because if you keep doing same thing, same mistake again and again, will you be able to be learn it? I'm asking. Will anyone can learn from the, if he does the same mistake or if he is not evaluated proper, can he improve himself or herself? Obviously, the answer is no. My role today is a role of a general evaluator. It's a very tough job. And for that, I need someone to support me. So I have a support. I have a tag team with me. Now, what's the tag team? T stands for timer. We'll note each and every person's time 
even he is noting my time as well today. A, a counter. As how many pauses you make or whatever you do, the a counter will have a note on that. And G, grammarian. So first, let me introduce the timer of the day. He is a businessman, leader, and passionate about communication. He loves to see change in people and consistently strives for change in himself. He has done his engineering in Mechatronics and MBA from IMT Hyderabad. He currently is involved into his family business of electrical contracting. He is a RYS 200 hour certified yoga teacher. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Ruchi as timer. Toastmaster Ruchi. Thank you so much, uh, General Evaluator, for that lovely introduction. Uh, so, uh, good afternoon, dear Toastmasters and all my dear guests who are present here. Uh, you know, in Greek mythology, time is sort of associated with uh, Kronos. And when it comes to Indian mythology, it is associated with Karl Bhaira. But when it comes to Toastmaster, obviously time is associated with the time. So today I am the timer of the day. I'll be noting uh, down timing of each of the speakers. And then I'll uh, also be keeping the time, uh, making sure that uh, we do not go uh, beyond the time. Uh, to give you the timings, uh, so when it comes to table topics, the, uh, the table topics are of two minutes. So at one minute, I am going to show the green background. At one minute and 30 seconds, I'm going to show the yellow background. And then at two minutes, I, I'm going to show the red background, which means that the timing stops. And there, there's also a 30 seconds grace period. Uh, when it comes to speeches, the speeches are generally of five to seven minutes. So at five minutes, I'll show green. Then at six minutes, yellow. And then at seven minutes, red. Uh, coming to evaluation, the evaluations are two to three minutes. Two, uh, at two, I'll show the green again. Two minutes, 30 seconds, I'll show the yellow. And three minutes, I'll show the red. Uh, and at, in the evaluation section of the meeting, I'll give you my time. Uh, thank you, uh, everyone. And over to you, General uh, Thank you, Toastmaster Ruchi. And thank you so much for explaining it very well. Now I would like to introduce our R counter. She has done bachelor's in electrical engineering from Indus University. She is currently working as a learning manager at Amazon. She plays a sport called Ultimate Frisbee. She loves to play outdoor games to activate herself. Please help me welcome our counter of today, Toastmaster Kritika. Over to you, Toastmaster Kritika. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to confirm whether I'm Audible and visible or not? Yes, you are both audible. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Hurst, for the confirmation. So, good afternoon, Toastmasters and my dear friends. Today, I'm playing the role of a counter. So, my role as an counter would be to note down the R's and arms that is used by each speaker and the each person who is speaking on the stage. Also, I would be telling the numbers of S and arms that is used. Also, I would be noting down the repetitive words which has been used in your speech. So this will help you to help you to improve that next time that you speak, you will avoid the uh, pausing words that is there in your speeches. So this will make you an effective speaker if you avoid it. So I'll present my report at the end of the meeting. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster Bharat. Thank you, Toastmaster Kritika. Now for Grammarian, please help me welcome. She is a warm baby parenting coach. She helps pregnant women learn and scientific Garb Sanskar technique. Her mission is to give her small contribution in creating a better generation, thus better society. Please help me welcome Grammarian of today, Toastmaster Pyle. Over to you, Toastmaster Bayer. Good evening, everyone. Am I audible? Yes. Okay. So, uh, as a Canadian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all speakers, listen carefully to their language usage. I'll take note of any improper language as well as any outstanding words 
quotes, sayings, or thoughts. As grammarian, it is also my duty to introduce the word of the day. For today's meeting, the word is salient. Salient means standing out or important. An example of using the word is the salient points in the discussions were as follows. And the phrase of the day is the best of both worlds. The best of both worlds. It means you can enjoy uh, two different opportunities at the same time. You can use it. I'll give you an example. By working part time and looking after her kids two days a week, she managed to get the best of both worlds. I would share this in the group as well. Uh, I encourage you all to use the word of the day and phrase of the day. Um, I will give the grammarian's report when called upon during the meeting and also report on the usage of word of the day. Over to you, Toastmaster Hirsch. Okay. So, uh, Bharat or me, who comes? Okay, fine. Uh, th thank you, entire tech team and general evaluator, Toastmaster Bharat for explaining everything very much crystal clear. Fine. So please, I want everybody, are you committed to create a magic in your life? Then the first, first thing which we need to do is on the video. If you are committed, right? We must turn on our videos if we are committed to create magic in our life. And it's a session where magic will be created in each of our life not only my life so i wish everybody to participate fully right without participation nothing is going to occur in your life right i can show you the access there will be gate for magic but action who needs to take we yes exactly so are you guys ready to participate Right? Yes. So yes. exactly. That's amazing. Amazing. I don't hear much yeses. Please, guys, come on. Switch yes, on your Coach Master. Yes, yes, Coach exactly. Master. We are ready to participate. Exactly. Yes, that yes. would be amazing. 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 I love the energy. Right. We look because forward, that, buddy. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Hardik, nice to see you, bro. You must be in Ika Club, right? <laughs> okay, fine. So which which area we we want to create magic. Yes. Any, any areas you would like to suggest? All areas. Like uh, example is the Toastmaster area or wealth area, our career, we can say, or our relationships, which area we want to go first. I think uh, in the people's minds, there are so many people outside this world who are always, always keep thinking negative or things like it won't work out in my life. It's only for them. I can't dream much. So if we could create that magic of giving them to think positive, take the positive, be grateful and then to you know, when you think more and more in a positive note, all the good things, all your dreams might come true. Just wow. like I live my dream life or something like that. It's all about being so grateful and being positive. If we could create that magic in all the minds in this society or in this world, it would the world would be at more better place, I, I think. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much uh, for such a warm, you just created spark, right? For creating the magic in the world, what's the first step? We must create magic in our world, our self world as well, right? So which area you will suggest? Yes, anyone, please. Let's take that area. You guys need to come up and suggest me area. I told is first is Toastmasters area, wealth area, career area or relationships area. Yes. And Toastmasters area. Toastmasters area. Okay, fine. Then I will need one volunteer also. Who would like to who would like to join me? Yes, Toastmaster Bharat. Thank you so much for helping me out. Right. So yes, in Toastmasters area, Bharat, what do you think is your barrier? 
what is the barrier you think for which is holding you back in uh, creating uh, magic in that area what is that one barrier i think experience right now i can say experience. is the biggest experience experience, experience is the biggest barrier right i think those masters okay here is like if i get a more and more speeches not inside the toast master but the other uh, outside as well so this is a barrier which i have to break i have to go more more and more speeches that's what i'm searching for right right and what else what else is uh, holding you back from giving more speeches what's the thing which is holding you back from your participation i think proper time management proper time management context one text and audience to hear audience to hear okay okay this are the things which are holding you back right so that uh, you are not able to manage the time properly that's the one was in different proportion but yes these are the three main factors right right okay fine so it's uh, not only bharat we will all look right uh, that what is holding back like uh, there is no time exactly right so time is not there so what is the bribe which we are taking by giving this excuse of no time what's the bribe which we are taking we know that we are responsible for not time management we can definitely do time management but some bribe we are taking at times procrastination yes procrastination we are not managing the time at our work or some area so that we can manage the time for those months so we are somehow getting comfortable with the time management definitely we can create time if if there was a option those master ruchi that you need to go off 1 crore rupees you will get from 3 to 5 or 5 to 7 now a new timings 5 to 7 you need to visit every saturday and you will be getting paid 1 crore salary right would you able to manage the time those master ruchi always right so definitely we will able to manage the time and the context will definitely be clear if we get 1 crore salary for managing 2 hours of our life so we can do it only thing is we need to create something right we can assume that we are getting 1 crore salary then we can definitely manage the thing right the thing is that uh, no one is ready to listen or uh, our experience is not there everything will be wiped out right anything would hold you back those master bharat no i don't think so right <laughs> so definitely there is no audience needed no experience needed time management we can do everything can be done only thing is we need our self to get into action so barrier is created by us only and we can uncreate it and we can create that magic road way where we can have highway right so what what we can do i can manage my time that uh, the things which can be done from my employee i can uh, just uh, delegate that things or i can hire uh, some person like coach like toastmaster isha who can help me manage my 8 hours of my time and can make 6 hours free and i can learn 2 hours in 2 hours i can do 8 hours things like like she is enjoying right from the usa also she can do such a amazing thing or i can learn time time management and uh, the question is about audience right definitely audience will come when our experience is there so i think uh, this is a place to make ourselves grow so that in future when we are speaking we don't have to find a place where there is no audience and uh, the third is time management if we can learn time management because if anywhere in life if we get such offer that can pay 1 crore salary and if we are not able to manage time to over our opportunity will be gone i can see here toastmaster vikrant who is managing time every sunday i see every saturday i see him present right from this presence he has learned so much time management 
that if any particular important thing is in life is able to get opportunity he can manage the time right toastmaster vikram yes if i say that i want your time at uh, some particular time you can definitely manage because you have learned how to manage 3 to 5 our toastmasters timings this is the biggest time management lesson we need to learn in mm. fact if we are not able to manage time we must join toastmasters because if we are not able to manage time how can we grow in life right anybody else wants to ask any questions or we can move ahead with the speaker segment yes yes you you can go to speaker segment yes right. okay fine 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 so let's move to our uh, first uh, segment of the meeting that is a uh, speakers uh, speaker segment so who is the first speaker the first speaker is someone who is engineer turned into entrepreneur currently pursuing his mba from iim lucknow who loves to travel solo and consider himself a amateur photographer his hobbies are reading books and strongly believes in environmental conservation so please help me welcome toastmaster rahul but before him i would like to invite invite his evaluator to read out his speech object Yeah, Toastmaster Janab, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. I'm sorry, I got disconnected. <laughs> Once again, good evening, dear fellow Toastmasters. And today, I'll be evaluating Toastmaster Rahul, in order to invite him for the very first for his speech. Toastmaster Rahul will be doing his level one project. one speech in wait is it one second i'm sorry uh in the topic of every game is not a zero sum game and the purpose of his speech is The purpose of this project is to learn or review basic methods for writing a speech with a defined purpose and to present a well organized speech on any topic. Toastmaster Rahul, every game is not a zero sum game. Every game is not a zero sum game. Toastmaster Rahul, over to you. All the very best. Thank you, Toastmaster Zainab. why do we stop collaborating as soon as we start feeling a sense of competition why why to disturb you yeah sorry as uh, uh, a tmod will give you that title so uh, timer please uh, remove this time and you know first pass of the horse uh, you give him a speech title okay toastmaster rahul every game is not a zero sum game Every game is a not a zero sum game. Toastmaster Rahul, over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Harsh. So, why do we stop collaborating as soon as we start feeling some kind of competition, or as soon as we are put up in some kind of competitive situation? Because we start treating the game, the competition, as a zero sum game. I have done this mistake in my life. and there is a phase of my life that i believe i could have handled differently during my school days i would focus on achievements that were visible to me such as the academic achievements when you come first second or third in a class of 100 you have to see how the faces of your parents glow up although i was winning this game of academic podiums most of the time i wasn't really enjoying this i was too young to understand 
and too burdened with the expectations set by the society to come out of this game. But then one day I grew up. Good evening from India, fellow Toastmasters and the guest student in the meeting today. Today's speech is my reflection on my journey of life. And the title of my speech is Every Game is Not a Zero Sum Game. So let's start with what a zero sum game is. Suppose you and your friend participate in a 100 meter race and there is a prize money of 5,000 rupees. You either win that prize money or you lose that. This is a typical setup of a zero sum game. You either win the game or you lose the game. Now consider a class of four students and the teacher gives them a graded assignment of building the prototype of a rocket. Now there are two students who understand how to best build the interior of the rocket, the engine, the propellers, everything that goes inside the rocket. And there are two students who understand how to best build the exterior of the rocket the size of the rocket, the shape of the rocket, so that it has the least of the frictions. Now, since this is a graded assignment, every student tries to score the maximum marks in this assignment, missing out on why they actually started this journey. Why are they in this game? Why are they in this competition to understand how to best build the entire rocket? And this is what happens when you have a zero-sum game mindset. The typical example of a zero-sum game mindset is, if I have to win, others have to lose. I'll repeat it again. If for me to win, others have to lose. This is the typical mindset of a zero-sum game. And the implications of the entire society having this mindset is really huge. Just think about any scarcity that happens in this world. Scarcity of the smallest vegetable that happens here and people would start voting that variable in their home. People would start voting that variable, not realizing that this entire voting is one of the primary reasons why they are also paying a very high price for this vegetable. Think about the first wave of COVID. When people started holding the sanitizers in their home, everybody was running to the medical shop so that they can get the maximum quantity of the sanitizers. Not realizing that the safety comes from the society as a whole. You are not safe if your neighbor's not safe. Your neighbor's not safe if their neighbor's not safe. And the result we have to bear as a society. It's not like you have a lot of sanitizer, you have a pool of sanitizer and you will be safe from COVID. If the society is not safe, you are not safe. Coming back to my story, during my undergraduate days, I realized that there were things that I never really did during my school days, or there were things that I could have improved upon during my school days. Had I not seen the competition as a hero sum game, maybe I could have learned art and sports from people who were really good at it, and maybe I could have taught them science. And I believe that that would have made a lot of difference. Though I modified my learn, though I captured the learnings and applied it later in my life, but yes, that would have made a lot of difference. Now there is a question for all of you. What would be an example of having a non-zero sum game mindset? What do you think? is an example of having that kind of mindset. Anybody? All right, I'll explain. The Toastmasters International Club is an example of having a non-zero-sum game mindset. Every Toastmaster here participates in the international speech competition, but that doesn't stop any Toastmaster from helping any other Toastmaster in their journey of becoming a better speaker. I have seen how Toastmaster here reviews the speeches of fellow Toastmasters, listen to their speeches, help them prepare their speeches before the, the day, and help them improvise through feedback. 
I have seen people who are spending 30 minutes, one hour after the meeting so that people can improve. And why do we do that? Because our competition is not with Toastmasters. The competition is within ourselves. The competition is within. We realize that we have to become a better speaker every day. And how can we become a better speaker every day? By helping fellow Toastmasters, by helping this fraternity become a good fraternity, a fraternity of better speakers, because we don't want to win this game. We want to be challenged here every day. We want to be challenged here every day because we realize that this game is not a zero-sum game because every game is not a zero-sum game. Thank you. Amazing, amazing Toastmaster Rahul for such a wonderful speech. Yes, so now you can give feedback on a private chat to Toastmaster Rahul. So I will give you 30 seconds for the feedback and timer, please raise your card once 30 seconds is over. Yes, so are we ready to go ahead? Now it's time for speaker number two. Who is our speaker number two? He is someone who is electronics engineer by education, by profession in a business of jewelry and by passion, a mature astronomer and a photographer. You all must have been very much clear who is he. He is someone who has not missed a Toastmaster meeting since I am visiting. I have seen him in all the meetings. Right? You have guessed it. Right? He is none other than our VP Education, Toastmaster Vikram. But before his speech, I would like to call upon his evaluator, Toastmaster Hardik, to read out his speech objectives. Over to you. Toastmaster Hardik, you are mute. Thank you, Toastmaster Harsh. Happy Saturday to all of you. Am I both audible and visible? You are both audible. Go ahead. Thank you, Isha. The silent member of this club, Toastmaster Vikrant, is delivering L1-S2 of his second pathway. He has completed his first pathway earlier and it's his L1-S2 speech, five to seven minutes. Please timer note the timing, five to seven minutes. The speech title for his speech is The Faith of Pharaoh. And the purpose of his speech is, purpose of this project of for this member for Vikrant is to present a speech on any topic, receive feedback, and apply the feedback to a second speech. Thank you so much and good luck, Vikrant. Back to Tia Modi. Thanks, Toastmaster Hardik. Faith, the faith of the sparrow. Toastmaster Vikrant, the faith of the sparrow, the faith of the sparrow, Toastmaster Vikrant. The stage is all yours. The battlefield of Kurukshetra, where being prepared to movement of mammoth armies with large cavalry. They use elephants to clear the ground and uproot the sea. On one such a tree live a sparrow with four little offspring, too young to fly. As tree being knocked down, her nest fall on the ground. But miraculously, all children were unharmed. 
very good afternoon my dear fellow toastmaster and welcome guests a vulnerable and frightened sparrow look around for a help then she saw lord krishna with arjun as they were in the battlefield to scan and devise a winning strategy for upcoming war she fluttered her tiny wing with all effort to reach lord krishna's chariot Oh Lord, please save my children. When battle will begin tomorrow, they will be crushed. Lord Krishna said, "I am listening, but I am helpless. I cannot do against the laws of nature. I don't know your philosophy. It is." in your hand if you wish then my children live otherwise they die spare of blood the wheel of time is moving instantly i am helpless spare of against blood i don't know your this philosophy i only know that you are the wheel of time my children's fate is in your hand If you wish, they live; otherwise, they die. Okay then. Stock food for three weeks in your nest. Lord Krishna is like. On this conversation, going divine conversation, Arjun saw a bird, and she fluttered her tiny wing, and returned her nest with faith and reverence. Just after two days, before the commencement of the war, at the time of whom the conches, Lord Krishna asked Arjun for his bow and arrow. Arjun started, "Why, my dear friend, do you know? Because Lord Krishna has taken vow not to take any weapon in the war." Nothing is impenetrable with my arrows," Arjun asked with conviction. Quietly taking bows and arrows from Arjun, he aimed at the elephant. But without hitting the elephant, arrow hit the bale around the neck, and the bale fell on the ground. Arjun couldn't stop his chuckle, because Lord Krishna has missed very easy target. So I go, Kesho. He offered. No, no need any further action. I have done my. But the elephant is alive. I know you go and do con. And we know, my dear friend, both Kauru and Pandava side, conches were born and the battle were begin and it. Last up to the 18th day, there were numerous soldiers were killed, and at the end, Pandava won. Again, Lord Krishna took Arjun into the bloody battlefield. There were numerous soldiers awaiting that body for funeral. Battleground was littered with. Limbs of elephants and horses. Lord Krishna stopped and looked at elephant's face. He ordered Arjun, "Will you please take this bale and put it aside?" As this order was very simple, but it made little sense to the Arjun that there are plenty of things needed to be cleaned in the battlefield. Why not give me such simple order to put away insignificant piece of metal? But without arguing further, he bent down and lifted the veil. As soon as he lifted the veil, his entire world changed forever. One after one, one, two, three, four little birds followed by a mother sparrow flew. 
Mother's Spirit took a full circle over the head of Lord Krishna with a great joy. Arjuna, is that sparrow? Yes. And the elephant? Yes, the elephant and the bale I hit that fell down 18 days ago has protected entire family over 18 days. Arjun, oh, Arjun said, forgive me, O oh Krishna. I don't know who you really are and behaving like an ordinary mortal. Stay inside the pain until it is lifted by Lord Krishna. Over to you, those first of the Wow, amazing Toastmaster Vikram for such a wonderful speech. So, time for 30 seconds of feedback to Toastmaster Vikram on his private chat. So, how will we proceed with the voting, Toastmaster Vikram? I would request to launch the poll. Actually, let's have the voting for the best speaker. Timer, are the both speakers qualified? Yes, both the speakers are qualified. Wow, amazing. amazing. So, I think uh, everyone should uh, send the uh, to postman, our, our president because uh, the launching the poll and all this I I have to refer but I, I don't okay and, and we have, we have water, right? fine so you can uh, send your votes to Toastmaster our president Toastmaster Isha directly on the private chat I am also casting my vote it's really difficult to vote for one because both were extraordinary. Okay, are we done with the votings? And received all the votes. Fine. So we can move on, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So not only Toastmaster Bharat, but everyone of us clear that if we want to be a champion and go at other side, the doors are all open. Not only Toastmasters, but any area, right? The most important thing which holds from coming on the stage. What is that? Come on, guys. What's the most important barrier to a public speaking for any person? Yes. Please, guys, yes. You can unmute and speak. Yes, Toastmaster Rushi. What is that? Fear. I think. Fear. Yes, it's a fear, my dear friend. It's fear, right? It's not only holding us back, but most, not only in Toastmaster, it's holding us back from many areas of life, right? Fear of wife is very common fear for all the married people, right? That is holding back from ultimate relationships. So fear is the number one thing in Toastmasters also. So what's a bribe? 
what's the bribe we need to consider that what's the bribe which we are taking because we are responsible for the fear which we are keeping we can immediately throw it out it's in our hands right if tiger is coming i will keep fear or i will remove it i will keep the fear right because it is helping me to protect my life but when it's coming to speaking what will do what will that fear do it will be a barrier so will i keep it or i should remove it i must remove it when it is not helping me right when it's uh, helping me i should keep it i am not saying that uh, fear should go away because if fear is going away i will just uh, stand up in front of the train nothing is going to happen no fear is very much helpful it is in fact very much it's a survival part it, without it our human beings cannot survive so fear is very much helpful but when it is not helping us when it's a barrier we must remove it and what's the bribe which we are saying we just need to do one thing if you want to remove that fear what is the bribe which we are taking so what's the bribe which we are taking when we keep that fear might be we want to be comfortable we want to avoid a preparation we want to not face the audience and look small in front of them so again fear of looking small is preventing us again fear of being wrong yes our president i think toastmaster parul have said that we have fear of judgment yes exactly uh we have full books of fears president man your full books written because we are keeping it we can throw it in an instant as i told that if someone is paying 1 crore rupees for giving one speech will we keep that fear then why we are waiting for someone to pay us when we can remove it without even getting paid right it's very clear right osmasa bora <laughs> that even without getting check we can remove that fear yes osmasa yeah i have something to share over here that uh, when you're talking about that 1 crore rupees that is really really good yes. and but i read it somewhere yesterday that uh, you will never get be uh, you're going to never going to be paid for your time like for example if you think you're going to be paid for the 7 minutes of your speech ever in your life that's never going to happen you're going to be paid for the 7 minutes of value that you generate mm-hmm. it's yeah. never the time that you're going to be giving to the toastmasters of 2 hours you keep on giving it for 2 years 4 years 5 years it is even if in one year in 6 months in 3 months or in a one week how much value that you're generating for yourself and to the others in the club so yes, that you would be called yeah. upon and remembered and one day you would be a paid speaker trust me you will get that one karo for your 7 minutes wow amazing amazing so magic has already created in my life with the, such a amazing tip which i got right so the thing is not about one cr the thing is that it should be clear that the fear is which we are keeping it and once that is clear the gate will be open and we can choose i want to give speech or not not the fear will choose what happens is that we are keeping that fear in front of that like a barrier the fence is there right we make a fence of fear and that is protecting us actually but when we are clear that it's a bribe which we are taking the fence will be removed and it's we who will powerfully say that i don't want to give speech or i want to give speech so it's not a fear giving my decisions it's not excuses or my justifications uh making a decisions it's me it's me who is taking that decision to give that speech or not right when toastmaster vikrant called me right i could have been in fear and rule my decisions but even if i'm saying no i must be clear that it's me i don't want to give because i want to give priority to somewhere else it's me who is deciding not my fear or my that bribes 
It's clearly, right? It's me who is deciding. I don't want to go ahead with the Toastmaster. It's completely fine. But the power is in my hands. So that's all will able to create magic. Yes, Toastmaster Uchi. No, I think uh, we are in shortage of time. So we should move forward. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for reminding me, right? I was just busy in just creating magic in our life. And will the magic be occurred, right? If we are in power of the decisions or the things which we are doing. If I want to be a speaker and be a champion, then I can do that. Right? Even if I am not doing, it's clear that I am not choosing to do. But if I am choosing, there is no fear, no lack of preparation, nothing can stop. So when the power is in your hand, you can do amazing things. Right? If you choose to and if you will to, if you are willing to do. That if I don't want to grow my business, that's a that's a different option. But if I want to grow my business, I can do that. If I want to be a better speaker, I can do that. Power is in mind. So now let's move to the second segment, which is table topics. Right? I encourage everyone to participate because the remote is in your hand now and you can participate definitely. So who is going to lead that table topics segment? He is someone who has recently joined Toastmasters. He is a data scientist at recruitment smart UK based AI startup. Also, he runs a business in health and wellness segment that must be very profitable. He completed his postgraduate from Ahmedabad University. His hobbies are reading, writing, playing tennis and meditation. Oh my God, that's amazing. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Park, Global Topic Master of the Day. Over Thank to you, you. Sir, uh, for a warm welcome. Am I able, uh, am I easily able to, uh, you are easily able to hear me? Yes, yes. And you can go. Easily, am I, am I visible, right? Yes. Yeah. So welcome to the most awaited segment of the today's meeting. As we all are focused on bringing magic into our lives, at least since our last meeting, I would like to surface a salient barrier to it, which is our response, our reaction to the circumstances. See, we often run into difficult problems, situations, and difficult people. It is our responsibility how we react how we make ourselves to it, or if we are breaking, our, breaking ourselves to it. Try to break this word, responsibility, into response and ability. Your ability to respond. If you have or can build such an ability, your life will seem a magical life to everyone surrounding you. Very good evening, uh, fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. As your today's table topic master, I will try to offer a platform where you can come and practice this wonderful life skill. How? I will be giving you any topic and you have to speak for at least one minute. Basically, you have to react to it almost instantly. Tip here is that thinking before reacting is creatively responding. So take a couple of moments to think and then speak. So uh, I will be calling up a volunteer. I will introduce a topic. Speaker has to speak for at least one minute to two minutes. Timer will raise a uh, red uh, green card at one minute, one minute and 30 seconds. Timer will raise yellow card and red card at two minutes. There will be grace period of 30 seconds. So try to stay within two minutes and 30 seconds to uh, avoid disqualification. Finally, I would like to encourage every single speaker to use word of the day and phrase of the day as much as possible. So can we start? Are we ready? Yes? Yes. Okay, great. Who wants to come first? Toast, uh, Toastmaster Parul would like to go first. Great. Toastmaster Parul, am I able to, am I uh, clear enough? Okay. Yes. Am I audible and visible? Yes. The topic is, what if marriage is a legal contract which comes with an expiry date and a, and a renewal option? Your topic is, what if marriage is a legal contract which comes with an expiry date and renewal option, Toastmaster Parul, over to you. All the uh, best. <laughs> Thank you, Parth. Uh, it's a very tough topic, I would say. Uh, 
if the marriage is a legal contract where it comes with expiry and renewal um i think uh, to be indian or uh, everybody who is in uh, i think audience is completely indian so uh, i think marriage is a constitution uh, which actually gives the commitment uh, to the responsibility or uh, uh, to the up and downs of the life uh, in the both the companions life even uh, if we uh, even the couple has the kid so uh, i think it goes uh, in that direction where it is a pool of responsibility and uh, you are going to share uh, Uh, you are going to share your room you are going to uh, take care of a kid you are going to um, uh, uh, take care of the finance and everything uh, and also family you will be uh, bringing your family together so uh, if it comes with a uh, expiry and all i think it will be a challenge for the kid and uh, uh, it also would be a challenge uh, i guess uh, when we have another options uh, the mind will get you know uh, look for the another alternatives i think th- that should not be the way uh, it should not have the legal ex- uh, any expiry or renewal uh, so whatever the partner if, if you are choosing it or if it, uh, it is by destiny or destiny whatever you are getting i think we should be uh, uh because i have somewhere heard the book i won't be able to complete that uh, so after that uh, after that if you anyone has uh, read the book uh, on that concept uh, human mind is like that you know where even they get the um, uh, complete uh, uh, no uh, even ecg you know uh, we uh, it's interesting to have up and downs if we have the flat life we will get bored so uh, definitely life will have a up and downs even relationship also will have up and downs but if we have another option the mind will also uh, tend to think on that so i think there should not be that alternative in place altogether thank you pa thank you to pastor parul uh, you gave a very mature message uh, uh, it's a lifelong commitment uh, thank you so who will come next hello anyone wants to participate to master parul would like to go and then i guess toast master bharat would like to go as well okay so toast master pyal uh, your topic is what would you prefer what would you choose if you had the choice to be born in rich family versus middle class family i repeat what would you choose if you had the choice to be born in a rich family versus middle class family toast master pyal over to over to you all the best well i am born in a middle class family and i would love to be in a rich class family by ma- being self made person i would love to earn myself and become a rich person and i want to be rich by mindset not just money money is very important but unless and until have one has real abundance in life in the terms of mindset only then money comes into play and you can use the money in the right way so uh, i would i would like to call it a uh, leaving the scarcity mindset and moving to abundance mindset whether you are born in middle class or rich class doesn't make a difference it's all the mindset that makes a difference even if you are middle class you can once you adopt an abundance mindset you can easily become rich so there is nothing wrong uh, in having money and some people think those people who are rich they are uh, they are they think of something of themselves and they are arrogant rude or something. so what is salient is that it is all about your mindset and nothing else that matters so that is what i believe in be rich but first get rich over here and only then the real money will make a big difference in your life thank you thank you to master payal uh, you shared wonderful message we reach in your heart and everything around will be your uh, will automatically turn into rich great okay a toast master bharat i guess right are you ready uh, yes toast master bharat okay uh, your topic is if you are given a chance to live in a colony of a super successful people which three personality would you prefer to have i repeat if you are given a chance to live in a colony of a super successful people which three personality would you prefer to have toast master bharat over to you all the best 
thank you toastmaster path for such a wonderful topic as you said three celebrities which i which i can choose to be live with nearby as a neighborhood first of all i would like to clarify one thing for me a celebrity who inspires me is a celebrity so if he is a very well known person but it doesn't inspires me doesn't make me a celebrity in front of my eyes so my definition of celebrity is the person who inspires me is a celebrity for me okay so three person i would like to be added in my neighborhood i think if i get a chance to first would be someone who is an extremely hard working person in any field because it inspires me to be a hard working person which i am lacking in my life second personality i would like to be with is someone who is deeply spiritual or intellectual as i am not lacking in it but it inspires me that each day of my life should be something new i can learn from it third person as a celebrity would i think would be a super rich person my thinking of a super rich person doesn't ends when i say the richness is about money as toastmaster pile has said before that mindset i would be like to be associated with a super successful celebrity who has a mindset of a super rich person who understand things who is deeply involved in whatever he does or she does will be a celebrity for me and that will inspire me to be rich in all segment of life so these are the three celebrities which i think would be great for me my family and my livelihood thank you so much thank you toastmaster brother i believe if if we can have that uh, uh, that visible that special um, i to look at such people are around uh, all around us and uh, they only help us create magic in our life great uh, great post master anyone else we can take a couple uh, i guess two three more i'm not able to anyone wants post to come master harsh would like to go yes toast master so post master harsh your topic is what if dating gets introduced as elective into the formal education system i repeat what if dating gets introduced as elective into the formal education system uh, toastmaster harsh over to you all the best so <laughs> dating i mean the dating is uh, we need to select as a subject right <laughs> wow amazing 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 so there there would be no option not to select for anyone right that would make going college so amazing so amazing that that would be zero absent in that subject at least and that would make life much much fun for everyone right because what i told in the beginning that when we see reward in front of us will definitely be champion in that and will uh, will do that with full energy so there would be record breaking success and the top place in that subject would be full because there will be no second place everyone will top in that career because the reward is so fulfilling right and the life would be so much fun that in other subjects also the performance will be improved and ultimately the quality of education will also be improved and ultimately we will see much much better place to live in the society because people will go to college will not bunk a single day and ultimately our education will be improved and we will have a lot of great great champions coming out from the college society because college will be a place to have fun and enjoyment and with that fun and enjoyment we can also learn grow ourselves and create a better world to live so i think it will be very very positive in fact because that subject will not um, and it in fact it will also make us grow and we can have much much better experience so that we can choose a better life partner and with better life partner we can have better home with better home better society with better society better business with better business better society better country better religion and better entire world 
so this must be included i think if someone can suggest to our uh, our minister then it can definitely be included it's a gateway to abundant country and world thank you over to wow what a wonderful and powerful perspective those master hearts uh, if your point is true i believe we get best of the both worlds life and career great uh what uh, who, who will come next i can go if you want par ardik yes president isha yes yes we can take one more sure uh those past hardik uh topic is a little bit spiritual i guess do you believe each problem surrounding us is an incarnation of opportunity i repeat do you believe each problem surrounding us is an incarnation of opportunity toastmaster hardik over to you all the best thank you parth indeed it's a uh, next level spiritual question regarding incarnation and the opportunity uh definitely uh, whenever there is a problem rather considering that as a problem we can consider that as an opportunity for sure and that is one of the reasons in spirituality also they suggest us and i can correlate with our toastmaster meeting right away that last couple of meetings we were facing that challenge with regards to the hybrid meeting so considering that as a life cycle of toastmaster as a team what we did we took that as an opportunity to take us to the next level and to today almost 13 participants are there present online to take that as an opportunity uh, as a lot of speakers including our president talked uh, and spoke about that why we are here in terms of doing taking us next level so that is part of the toastmaster second in terms of the life when we talk about the incarnation uh in, in terms of spirituality uh, it it correlates with your karma uh what you do uh, good or bad in your past life and whether it's a human being or god we have seen that rama's incarnation or krishna's incarnation and how and what he has also to suffer right so always keep the karmas a lot of the karmas and we have very good speakers in our course master in the, who has got great knowledge in terms of bhagavad gita they can explain things in a very very well manner the silent feature of karmas and how we can be a better person understanding the importance of karma knowing good and bad and take it to the next level back to you part thank you thank you to master hardik uh, a very deep divine perspective uh, every problem is definitely a seed of an opportunity i uh, believe that no one can stop create uh, magic in our life so i would like to close the session i hope all you have uh, all of you have to thank you very much over to you over to the ghost master of the day thank you very much thank you so much ghost master part uh, we really enjoyed the session it was amazing amazing and i could uh, i could relate that you have read the book think and grow rich napoleon hill says that every problem is a seed of opportunity i could literally relate that and your next level topic so really everyone enjoy it so huge round of applause for our table topic master host master park amazing fine so just i would like to take a polls who is the best speaker are all the speakers qualified timer no. yes okay fine so we can have poll for a best speaker right uh yes the contestants uh, you must be knowing right uh, almost everybody everybody participate you know so just vote for the best uh, speaker please raise your hand whoever participated in the table topics so that we can have 
you don't have to remember. So you can recall that voting can be a little bit smoother. Please uh, send me your vote yeah, in so the chat box of Zoom. Okay, Please. in the chat box yeah. of Zoom. Private chat. Yes. Okay, now you can lower your hands. Right, so everybody has voted. Great, so we can go ahead. The time is very much short. So I'll just like to, before call upon General Yorker, I would like to have a few, two, three minutes so we can conclude the theme of the meeting. So who would like to volunteer? If no one is ready, I would go with our president, if no one is ready. But before that, <laughs> Yes, if any volunteer, I can go. Fine, so everybody, yes. Okay, Toastmaster Ruchir, you would like to volunteer? Sure. sure. Okay, fine, go ahead. So what is the biggest barrier you are facing in uh, any area? It's an open challenge. You can ask me any area. There is no barrier I would like. To. What is the biggest barrier? I think well achieving your goals. Yes. Well, in terms of wealth, I'm facing kind of barriers. Not barriers really, but I'm like stuck somewhere. Okay. What's the barrier you are facing in terms of wealth? More income, more abundance. Yeah. So the amount that I'm making, I just wanted to 10x it. You want to practice. Okay. Okay. What's the barrier, but what's the barrier? What's the complaint yeah. about it? That's not happening. That's not happening. Okay, that's not happening. Yeah. That's a barrier you have, right? right? Right. So is that stopping you? That's not happening. Stopping me from what? <laughs> from achieving that. Uh, yes. Correct. Yes, so um, the thing is that uh, what's the bribe you are taking? What's the bribe you are giving your I don't know. I mean, uh, see, for me, uh, what I understand is I'm not getting a clear picture of what should be done. You know, for sure. example, for example, in our uh, business, we are making X turnover, right? Now I'm meeting people. I'm, of course, bringing new business, but I just wanted to, you know, tenfold it. So it's really scale to a next level, but that is something which is not happening. Right. That's not happening. Any barrier which you are facing? Barrier, yeah. In terms of, you know, what I is have stopping certain... you? What is stopping you from achieving that? Yes. What is so certain, you? certain fears that I that are coming in my mind are like this: that uh, let's say if I scale up, uh, would we we be able to handle it? Uh, would be able to, you know, be credible of the quality that we are providing? So there are certain uh, fears which are that which uh, I don't know how to put it in paper and get very clear about that. Right. So it's uh, very much clear that the fears, okay, just imagine, imagine right now. Imagine, is there any fear right now in the present? No. No fears, right? So there is no fear present. Right? So now it's up to you. You can take any action which you want. To go 10x. If I want 10x my business, what I must ask myself, am I 10xing my efforts? Am I 100xing my efforts? If I want 100 mangoes, what I need to do is sow that plants. Am I sowing that uh, seeds? Am I sowing that seeds to get the uh, plant? That's only we need to ask. If 
fear is preventing me to so that seeds what i will see is that where is the fear it's the fear which is preventing me so i must throw it out and sow the seeds which will give me the mangoes which i want okay. that's simple right the road will be clear the gate will be open now just the highway is there we need to take action that's it uh, so just we need to ask am i taking that action which will 10x my income what and if fear is stopping me what's the bribe am i being comfortable with that fear that it will i be able to handle it come on let's reach there then we will think about it right there is no fear stopping me right now right now it's open when we reach there we will think whether we will able to handle or not if we are not able to handle we will take help of our coach who is in front of us right the highway is clear fine I, uh, does it help does it help this this perspective yes it does it indeed okay, does right. yes any barrier you are facing toast master isha any barrier you are facing just 2 minutes i will do what okay, barrier i am facing yeah time okay, is up i, I know to... that but uh, i just want to take a challenge to to be <laughs> yes okay so i face the opposite barrier i face the barrier of uh, not resting i am constantly working at times i just sleep 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours so i keep on working my mind is not resting like i just slept for 4 or 5 hours last night i'm awake in my morning since 5 o'clock and then again i have to work and then i'll be working for because i'm newly married as well i have responsibility for that as well so it keeps on working working churning and i have uh, getting the i'm getting the barrier of not resting barrier so how do i solve resting. that wow <laughs> so it's a that is then. so amazing barrier right <laughs> i wish i could have that barrier I want to open the gates of resting for myself, and I want to sleep and take a break <laughs> from everything. Okay, and okay. I have that fear that it? if I rest, if I if I rest, I think I would uh, stop my progress in the peak of my time, in the peak of my age, in the peak of my life. I don't want to do that. I want don't want to rest uh, in a way. I want to rest, but not in a way that I am like in a complete vacation. I fear that. I cannot go on complete vacation. Fine. So now the thing is, you need to decide. You need to have extraordinary growth, or you want to balance growth as well as rest. Once you decide that, you can definitely do whatever you wish to. Yes. Right. Definitely. You have chosen to excel in your life, and you are compromising sleep. So it's you who is doing that. Right? Or is that fear which is making you do that? It's me who's doing that, definitely. I can no. say. So if you think that somehow you are fearful, or fear that uh, the success I am not able to achieve if I sleep, if that somehow fear is in the way, mm -hmm. just uh, just make sure that there is no fear. Right? Mm -hmm. Close your eyes and just imagine where is the fear. if you find that fear you can call him or her in my room i'm sure you will not find any fear right sure yes definitely that can help yes so there is no fear now you have power you have the gates you want to sleep you can sleep if you want not to sleep you may not sleep but it will not be a barrier if you want to rest definitely is that a view helpful your background is really helpful it's wonderful and beautiful <laughs> yes actually <laughs> actually while uh, the speakers were speaking i just was choosing some background and <laughs> this is the background i think i need to speak less so i choose this it will be very much helpful right yes yes so we can go ahead on uh, anything you would like to know is that helpful yeah. that was really indeed helpful and let's move to the evaluation section yes exactly the time is up yes the time is up but i i want extra mile that if what you can get this access my 5 minutes time will create much much value for you that's what i learned right now to create more value than to 
speak more. Fine. So, please help me welcome our general evaluator of the day, Toastmaster Bharat. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Harsh. Now, won't take much time now. I would like to invite the evaluators. So, evaluator one, she is Zainab Mushtaq from Manwenala Exarian Toastmaster Club, Sri Lanka. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Uh, first, I would like to thank her as well that for coming here and become an evaluator. Over to you, Toastmaster Zainab. Thank you so much, General Evaluate. It's completely fine. I hope that I'm audible, visible enough and not keep going. Can I get a confirmation that my voice is clear? Your voice is clear. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So I think it's better to go ahead. Toastmaster Rahul, first of all, congratulations on completing your speech with such a beautiful uh, context. It was strong, courageous, confident, and then broad-minded thoughts. I wonder how a person could uh, collect his personal experience and also thinking broad-minded and uh, collect thinking the experience, the society, and getting it all in together, mended and delivering it in a general purpose, general context of human behavior. It was totally fascinating, I would say. And I loved, indeed loved the clarity in your speech, the clarity in your voice, the way how you brought up different examples into your speech. It was totally fascinating to be very honest. And then I would love to say you how much you had a great vocal variety, something so many people lack in them. You have that positive thing of having a clarity in your voice, have, um, having a great vocal variety of balancing your speech from uh, delivering it with uh, great confidence with uh, your thoughts. It was totally amazing, tremendous. I was really uh, impressed the way how you said that we, I, we almost don't think of it, the way how we should be like, uh, I, should, I should be giving it to someone. Uh, I should be uh, thinking of others in others' perspectives and live for not only for myself, but for others. And moving on to the suggestions as lack of time. I would say if you could have added small pinch of a small number of humor into your speech, it could it would have it would be like more beautiful. Like uh, while we all were very attentive listening to your amazing speech, if you could have added a small amount of humor that could have made all of us uh, curious to listen to your speech with more and more love. The other point was, if you could have put your camera a little back so that we could have seen you, the whole of you, the hand gestures of you, and you could have got more space in your background that you could have moved from here to here and presenting your speech with more amazingly, I would say. Otherwise, the speech was completely a whole bundle of thoughtful, informative, amazing speech. I indeed love every bit of your speech. Wishing you all the very best and over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you so much. Thank you, Toastmaster Zainab. Thanks for your wonderful uh, evaluation. Now, looking for the second evaluation, the second evaluator is an indo Canadian, an entrepreneur, and a change maker, has over 15 years of global experience in technology, consulting, business, and social arena. As a problem solver, Hardik, Toastmaster Hardik, is our uh, evaluator. 
number two, and he is working for bring major reforms both in corporates and grassroots, so there will be a significant impact to over a billion lives. I would like to invite Toastmaster Hardik for evaluating Toastmaster Vikram. Over to you, Toastmaster Hardik. Thank you, Toastmaster. Am I audible and visible? Thank you. What a powerful speech in this war era. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vikram, and congratulations for completing L1 S2. Considering the best of both the worlds, your background image synchronized with your story. And I think all of us felt that we were there with you in Kurushetra. Isn't it amazing? I loved your voice modulation. For example, when you said, Oh Lord, please save my children. I can really connect. How can parents be worried for their kids? And they would do anything to protect them. Furthermore, giving speech in a standing posture with aligned body language and eye contact was second to me. So kudos to you. In terms of some constructive feedbacks, it is always better to check your audio, especially when you are giving speech. And I can understand when you are online, sometimes the wireless headphones, their batteries are low or the cell phone battery is low. And I have gone through similar situation where my voice was cracking and it, I came to know later on. So if you could have synchronized your devices, we could have better customer listening experience. Therefore, sometimes your voice was breaking. In terms of conclusion, I felt it was somewhat abrupt. Maybe I could not hear that particular line or the conclusion part. Overall, it was a great speech, Vikrant, with a message that inspired all of us. Thank you so much. Back to G. Bharat. Thank you, Toastmaster Hardik, for such a wonderful evaluation. Thank you, Toastmaster Hardik. As I said in the starting, that the job of a general evaluator is a very big one. And I have introduced my team as well. Now, my team will give the report that how exactly happened in the meeting. Let me invite Toastmaster Pyre for a Grammarian report. Over to you, Toastmaster Pyre. Thank you, Jay Bharat, for this opportunity. Uh, well, the people who used the word of the day were Toastmaster Hardik, Pat Gadoya, and myself. And the phrase of the day was also used by Toastmaster Pyre, uh, Pat. Uh, I might have missed some people over here because in between my uh, connection was going off. So I apologize if I missed someone, but I've tried to cover as much as possible and I listen carefully. Uh, improper grammatical use and suggestions to improve over there. Um, it was said that high probability is that. It should be, there is a high probability. There is a word order which we need to follow. Sometimes what, we ha what happens is the way we speak in Hindi, we try to translate it in the same way in English and it becomes wrong. So subject, verb and object, that's the order that we need to follow. Uh, it was said, we are such a senior level. It should be, we are at a senior level, at. Then it was said by someone that I did not participate in table topic. I couldn't do this way. It, it should have been, if I had not participated in table topic, I would, have, would not have been able to do uh, this. Uh, whatever he was supposed to say. And uh, someone said Greek mythology. Here I would like to emphasize on the pronunciation. It is mythology, not mythology. Then someone said, you're not safe if your neighbor's 
not. It should be if your neighbors are not. Then it was said, though was used with but. It should be though is always used with yet. For example, though he is poor, yet he is respectable. As an example, and uh, someone said he is a post. Um, just a second. He completed his post graduate. It should have been he completed his post graduation. He is a post graduate, but he completed his post graduation. This is how it should have been. And uh, the words or phrases that were used nicely were prototype was the word used by someone. Prototype of rocket, then mammoth, fence of fear, scarcity mindset and abundance mindset, and livelihood. Uh, I've also written a few more mistakes. If I have time, can I cover that? Just a couple of more. May I? Do we have time? Yes, you have. Okay. So someone, uh, someone said, I'm not supposed to name, that's why I'm saying someone, though I have an idea who said what. My offspring will crush. It should have been, my offspring, offspring will be crushed. Ultimately, education will be improved. Here, the person was talking about the probability. So whenever we talk about the probability, it should have been, would be. Ultimately, education would be improved, not will be. And... Uh, it, at one particular time, a person was speaking in past. So he said, so I choose this. He was talking about the gate at the back. So it should have been, I chose this, not choose. So these are a few more mistakes that I found. And uh, otherwise, it was a good conversation all in all. That's all from my side. Over to you, G.E. Bharat. Thank you so much, sir, Toastmaster Pryor. As a grammarian, you have completed each and every aspect I have seen today. And that too wonderfully. Just for a small change, I would like to say to launch a poll for a best evaluator. I have missed out before. So to launch a poll for evaluator, I would like everyone to put a personal message on personal chat on Zoom to Toastmaster Isha for their best peak evaluator. The two best peer evaluators are, uh, sorry, Toastmaster Ruchi. Uh, the evaluator one is uh, unfortunately not qualified, but I mean, I don't know whether we are considering that starting second because she has, uh, the timing that she has taken is three minutes and 32 seconds. So if we are, are we, are we like taking into consideration, is my voice then uh, video clear? If we are not No, we are not taking that. We are not considering okay. is my voice and audio visibility. If they're checking that, that is not considered. From the moment that they started speaking about the valuation, that would be considered. Sure. Then uh, she's qualified. Yeah. Okay. 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 So both the speech evaluators are qualified. The speech evaluator number one is Toastmaster Jenab, and speak evaluator number two is Toastmaster Hardik. So please vote on the personal chat of Toastmaster. Uh, Isha, thank you. In the Zoom. I'm waiting for more votes, please. I would like to request that everyone should put on the personal chat. Thank you. Three more votes, please. Okay, we can move on. Now I would like to call for our counter report, Toastmaster Kritika. Toastmaster Kritika, please, our counter report. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Bharat. Uh, so here I am uh, with the counter report. To start with uh, our Sajetan 
budget and arms toastmaster vikrant had to us toastmaster uh, isha our president was flawless uh, toastmaster of the day hers uh, he didn't have any as and arms he was flawless uh, general evaluator toastmaster bharat had one short pause otherwise he was flawless uh, grammarian toastmaster payal was flawless again timer had three hours toastmaster ruchi had ruchi had three hours coming to speakers speaker 1 toastmaster rahul was flawless uh, speaker 2 toastmaster vikrant he had one hours coming to evaluators jainab uh, toastmaster jainab mushtaq she had three hours uh evaluator 2 toastmaster hardik was flawless coming to table topic session uh table topic master toastmaster parth he had 5 hours and one arms um uh, table topic speaker 1 guest parul had 6 uh, hours table topic speaker 2 toastmaster payal had used 3 hours table topic speaker 3 bharat toastmaster bharat was flawless in the table topic session table topic speaker toastmaster harsh he was flawless in his table topic speech and table topic uh, speaker toastmaster hardik again was flawless so that's all from my end over to you toastmaster bharat thank you toastmaster kritika for a report for your our counter report as time is pressing i would like to invite toastmaster ruchi as a timer over to you toastmaster ruchi uh, the timings uh, for each of the speeches are like this uh, the sergeant at arms took 2 minute 36 seconds the toastmaster of the day took 27 minutes i think the restriction was 15 minutes uh, general evaluator took 1 minute 59 seconds in the beginning uh timer uh, myself i took in the beginning 1 minute 50 seconds uh, then our counter took 1 minute 23 seconds grammarian took 1 minute 23 seconds figure 1 took 6 minutes and 48 seconds figure 2 took 6 minute and 39 seconds then in table topics we have speaker 1 who had taken 2 minutes and 15 seconds speaker 2 took 2 1 minute 18 seconds speaker 3 took 1 minute 55 seconds Speaker four took two minute twenty one seconds. Speaker five took two minute and fourteen seconds. Coming to evaluation, uh, evaluator one took three minute and twenty nine seconds. Evaluator two took two minute thirty six seconds. Uh, the grammarian had taken three minutes. Our counter had taken one minute and fifty three seconds, and I myself had taken three minutes and fourteen seconds. And I unfortunately missed on the timings of today. Thank you. thank you toastmaster ruchir for your report now as a grammarian i would like to evaluate the complete meeting in my report toast i start with the meeting started a 6 minute late which we can improve in the next meeting technically gauge was not there it was smooth almost 99% was smooth one now coming to the report of sergeant and arms toastmaster vikrant he explained the rules and regulation in a very authentic and smooth way toastmaster isha is our presiding officer she encouraged everyone to participate in toastmasters and took the introduction very well kudos to toastmaster isha now the toastmaster of the day toastmaster harsh what a wonderful topic you have picked you explained each and every one point of your topic and you considered each and every participant to involve in the meeting in the in the topic which was very good but as i have i have seen the time limit was extended it took 27 minutes which was can be can be improved in the next one i would recommend that if you can improve your time and if you can control your time limit you will be invincible you have immense energy now coming to speakers toastmaster rahul and toastmaster vikrant 
both of your speakers were wonderful they haven't took anything which i consider could be in my general evolution report it was absolutely perfect coming to table topic masters first of all i would like to congratulate part for taking this as a table topic master he has taken the job for the first time and it wasn't looking like that he is doing for the first time everything was crystal clear about the topics he took the introduction of the guest and the toast master and explained and he also participate that he was listening to the topics just a little suggestions for taste table topic master toast master part and that is that the the the, the what do you say the topics were a bit too longer if it could have been a shorter one it could have create an impact a more impact that's what i think now the table topics first of all i would like to congratulate guest parul as she mentioned in the chat that she has a fear of getting judged by others and she was the first one to take the role of a table topic master table topic so which is kudos to uh, guest parul for doing this all the table topic master speakers took everything under the time limit so it was a good one now coming to speech evaluation evaluator 1 toast master zenab you did the evaluation wonderfully fall into line you got just away from 3 minute 30 seconds limit but that wasn't considered as it is a online meeting coming to evaluator number 2 toast master hardik perfect and i would like to add one thing for toast master hardik the way he has used the voice modulation do, uh, during his speech evaluation was a really good one now coming to my tech team how my tech team has done toast master pile has done the taken the job of a grammarian for the very first time and it's her third meeting and she performed really well she completed each and every sentences which were there during the meeting and explained the right format how to use them now coming to toast master kritika who was the a counter she completed her job she covered each and every member of the meeting so she was flawless as well toast master ruchi he has taken the job first time and each and every second of the meeting of a uh, speaker he has covered it kudos to toast master ruchi now coming to me as a self evaluation i found i missed out i have haven't wasn't perfectly good in speaking i took uh, more pauses so i think i need an improvement on that one as well so that's to that's all from my side over to you toast master of the day toast master harsh thank you what a wonderful variation i would i would request toast master of the day to conduct the voting for the best role player and best leader okay fine thank you toast master bharat for such a wonderful evaluation report indeed it will help us so let's uh, now move to voting of the best role player first of all so role players as a sergeant at arms toast master vikram grammarian a counter and timer of the day toast master ruchi a counter of the day toast master kritika and uh, toast master jana our grammarian So these are the contestants. Let's vote for the best role player. Yeah, and Toastmaster Pyle as well. Ramirian was Toastmaster Pyle. Yes, Toastmaster Pyle was there. Sorry for that. Toastmaster Zainab was evaluated.
also second vote is for the best leader. So nominations are Toastmaster Bharat and uh, Table Topic Master Toastmaster Park and uh, Toastmaster Hearts Toastmaster of the Day. I request everyone to please participate in the voting. चलो बाय ओके फाइन आर वी डन विद वोटिंग we're done with the votings great great so my dear friends just take actions and create magic in your life because it's one who you are responsible it's you who are creating the barriers you are taking the bribes and throw all away and take actions and go after your goal and please help me welcome our presiding officer toastmaster isha to carry on the further proceedings over to you Thank you so much, Toastmaster Harsh, for conducting the meeting really fabulously. Congratulations to all the role players, all the participants for participating very successfully in the meeting. Now it is time to announce the awards without any further delays because we are running out of time and it's already seven eight and we need to close our meeting by seven fifteen, no matter what, because we turned on our meeting a little late. Well, to announce who is the best speaker, any guesses, guys? Any guesses? Best speaker, unmute yourself. Let's participate and make this meeting really lively. Best speaker. Toastmaster Rahul. Well, I'm proud to announce the best speaker today. Me and both VP Education will be proud to announce is our newbie, Toastmaster. Rahul, congratulations, Toastmaster Rahul. Thank you, Toastmaster Isha, and thank you all the Toastmasters in the meeting. It was indeed really fabulous to hear you, and your content is really impressive. Although I always say I am really not in the favor of the awards, it is always, always a pleasure to hear our veteran, our VP membership, Toastmaster Vikram, and the way you inspire us with your content, with your delivery, and with your progress is. Always iconic. Moving on to the next award, best evaluator. Any guesses, guys? Who is the best evaluator? Well, again, let's not waste the time over here and catch on it. The best evaluator again for me. Both the evaluations were amazing. As a president, I have seen the growth in. Uh, Toastmaster Hardwick and Toastmaster Zainab, I have always admired your work. Like when I have seen you in the Sri Lankan club, when I have seen you, and I also in a, one of the other clubs that I have visited with you, it was fabulous. And to break the news, who is our best evaluator? Toastmaster Vikram, can you share, please? Well. Uh, I'd request Toastmaster Kukran to share his screen, please. Okay, till he is sharing his screen, let me break the news. So there it is a tie to Toastmaster Hardik and Toastmaster Zainab. You got equal amounts of vote, and congratulations to both of you. This is Toastmaster Hardik. Thank you. I think the credit goes to Isha. Let me share this thing with everyone. Whenever I spoke to her and had a conversation regarding my speeches uh, and things, 
and she always came up with one thing voice modulation hardik you need to work on your voice modulation so thank you so much isha for helping me out this is for us master design up congratulations to us thank you so much congratulations i will share it personally to your chat after that it is thank you thank you so much <laughs> indeed uh, toastmaster hardik i would agree with you with over this thing and i always say to everyone key to a successful speech or successful delivery anywhere on the stage is voice modulation you do that everything works like a magic right toastmaster harsh so <laughs> yes, moving okay. on to the next award is the best role player any guesses best role player let me break it to you it is our own fabulous newbie our grammar and toastmaster pile congratulations however i, I have a word it was very amazing the report was very very accurate and i really loved the way that you picked up the details and you explained the reason behind it that is the most important now i would actually i like to highlight the work of toastmaster ruchi here wow ruchi you helped me you have shown the power of a timer and you have actually shown me how much a timer is important in the meeting you have to break down the, even the president you have to break down you have to break the uh, table topic master you have to break up the general evaluator and tell them and tmod in between that you got to move on we are running out of time a timer does not need to represent the report but a timer need to manage the time that is the role of the timer and you have used that thank you so much for doing that again to close master kritika thank you for joining us and thank you for giving a very good report on the accounting moving on the best table topic speaker who was the best table topic speaker today any guesses guys It, i enjoyed every single table topic speech it was brilliant the way you guys are so mature and the way you guys put up your thoughts so together and give us so much inspiration through your table topics it's very deep and indeed i'll tell you toastmaster part you did a very brilliant job you went into the details of the mind to dig out those topics and come out of the um, push the speakers to take out that content great job so who did it Toastmaster Vikram, would you like to share? Yes. Toastmaster Pile again, best table topic speaker. Congratulations, Toastmaster Pile. Thank wow. you so much. This was not expected, but I am really grateful if you found so. I love many speeches, and even the table topics were awesome. So Pile has done a wonderful job. Each topic made me think, so I'm thankful for those topics, and it made me smile. So, Pat, I really loved your work. Thank you for your work, and thank you for choosing me. Definitely, it was brilliant. Every single table topic speaker have done the justice. I will tell you, you guys have provided great insights over the, this such kind of a difficult topics. I must say, it's really difficult to think on foot with these topics. Well, moving on to the last award is the best leader. we had a great insightful session by toastmaster of the day toastmaster hush you have energy you have that thing so it's always fabulous to have you as a toastmaster of the day and we have amazing report by general evaluator i have to applaud you over here bharat you have a great time management you saw that you do not have time you trim down your report and you gave it very accurately so kudos to you over there and to us master parth wow you're natural and you should attend more meetings because you bring a different perspective on the table for all of us so who is the best leader to us master vikram would you like to share 1 2 so 3 to us master parth congratulations to us master parth it was indeed yeah thank you 
it was indeed brilliant topics chosen by you although i would say every single participant in the meeting have done a great job and trust me i would like to say this one last minute taking the minute of yours that i know the meetings at the last moment turned online and it may seem a little disappointment to many people but we have to make the best of both the worlds right online and offline because trust me when you would go for the contest that day you would thank me i may not be your president then but it's very near it's in july and august you have to start preparing and you would thank me then because when you would be giving your numerous speech contest or you would be giving your evaluation contest to master hardik online things would change thing would completely change a you as a person who's giving offline and online so balance it whenever we are getting an opportunity to learn something online go for it whenever we are getting an opportunity to go offline go for it and one thing more i need a help from all of the members over here every single person it's not that only ec needs to act on the meeting and you just need to be present in the meeting yes i'm done my role easy is just is it would manage everything else right it is you as members need to maintain the club environment as well push other members talk if one of the members is not coming or you're not seeing your co member since a long time talk with that member call them or even if you're new b and you are seeing that these are the members in my group and they are not coming oh let me check on them oh hi how are you i have not seen you speaking check on each other give feedback to each other encourage each other it's not just the work ec i know it's a major work of ec but then if you guys would do it we would create a very different environment you would empower yourself as a leaders don't wait to be elected as something you may not have that much time but whenever you get time do it for yourself do it for everyone Well, that's all from my end. I'm at, I'm calling this meeting as adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Okay. I I would like to say thank you for Toastmaster Asia because after I got married, I didn't even join for Toastmaster meetings for a long time. I was uh, very busy and not into Toastmasters. I was. fearing that if i could go back to the same track again and start the uh, start speaking so when tosma sisha yesterday called me i was like i was having a kind of a fear can i do that how will i go for it like that it i think it's been so many months since i joined for tosma it today's meeting was totally very refreshing and opening for me uh personally i truly enjoyed every single part of this meeting like from the table topics to the listening to the evaluation to everything for the prepare speeches to i indeed loved everything it brought me back like i i felt like it's a great coming back for myself i would definitely join for all your, your meetings in future and will definitely uh love to be with you all and uh, do more meetings so wow. thank you dos thank you so much dos mastisha this was uh, so i got to learn a lot from each and every one of you even from dos master rahul's speech to dos master vikrant's speech to all the table topic speeches i loved each and everything it was it feels so good for myself i will I feel like I need to renew my membership and get back to those masters again. I think. <laughs> Thank you for making me doing doing that. I will definitely renew my membership and uh, be back to those masters and be very active here after. I think. Thank you for that. I.